What's going on, guys? It is Baseball King 275 Live here, coming to you back here on MLB The Show 17. And today, we are going to be taking a quick peek at all the new cards that they just released in the game. There are so many things to get into. So without much further ado, let's get into the community market and take a look at the first card. So the first card here we have is the 94 Chase Headley. There are so many cards, like I said. So I'm going to be going and skimming through these. So I got the 94 Chase Headley. Solid card, decent power, just like the 92 overall from last year in MLB The Show 16. Decent fielding, and uh, got two quirks. The second card, 91 Jason Vargas. Like I, um, these are the new uh, player stat missions, or the pl player of the month missions. They have an April player of the month, where you get it. Collect six, di uh, six of these player of the month players, and. The next one here is Ryan Zimmerman. Both of these cards are two out of the six cards you gotta acquire for the first uh, tier for the 94 Eric Thames mission. And the second and third is not yet discovered yet. I do not have a ball, so I do apologize for that. But I'm not gonna be spending 71K or 61K on one card, a diamond card that I'm never ever gonna use, so that's that. 89 Ian Kennedy is one card same as last year's 89 Mike Leap another player of the month card 88 Steve Fischek breakout card I might need to get in um, for my bullpen 87 Aaron Judge this guy had amazing month and he's going for 50 something 53,000 47 sell he's got 92 power 94 versus left it's a great card to have uh, for a try I might use him in VR if he's an option but uh, for a team, I really wouldn't want to use them because I have better options in the outfield. Next card, 85 overall Chris Owings, another player for that player of the month mission. 85 John Danks, same as last year's card. 85 breakout Marco Estrada. That's a new card that they just added. It's a breakout series card, so I may have to pick him up to complete that 99 mission for the 99 Eddie Murray. 84 Brad Boxberger. That is a solid card. Great BR card. And that's another breakout card that they just added. 83 overall Logan Forthsai. It is breakout from 2015. Same overall I want to say as the live series so I don't know why somebody would put a buy order for 3500 but that's the new card that they added. 82 overall breakout D.D. Gregorius, that's a solid card defensively, decent vision. I like that they're adding new variety of cards to the breakout series card, pretty solid. So they added a lot of legends here and one of them is the 91 overall Jack McDowell. They have an 88 overall with the White Sox and this is the breakout one here as they got a diamond Jack McDowell here. A 90 overall Rich Gossage, they had this card last year but it was a silver a starting pitcher they have this one as a breakout a relief pitcher I want to say what is it let's take a look so 91 hits per 9 87 K's per 9 84 break and a 99 velocity that card is pretty filthy so if it's a bullpen card I'd say it's one of the more better right-handed bullpen cards in the game you can acquire let's take a look at his stats if they pop up and it is a closing pitcher it's a fastball slurve and sinker as you guys know, my favorite pitch is the sinker, so if I pick him up, he's got 41 stamina, so I might pick him up for the future. And he's got decent quirks. I like Stingy, because it excels at limiting base hits. But uh, great card. I might pick him up in the future for my bullpen. Here we are in the ticket counter, and they added three new cards. Um, I want to say four, but I'll go into that later. The three new cards, Breakout Dale Murphy from the Braves, catcher and first baseman as it shows on the card. I'm not sure if it says it. An 85 overall Mitch Henniger. He ranked top three rookies in average walks and RBIs. And the 93 Aura Hirschheiser. I picked all three of these cards up. Um, I'm trying to get every ticket in the uh, card in the ticket store. I've spent 7,000 today. I was started off at 10k. And um, that's the same. Those are the new cards. And here it is. First baseman and catcher Dale Murphy 
great arm strength, speed, fielding, contact versus left, decent power and vision. This would be a decent BR card. And um, he's got one quirk cannon, 92 overall arm strength. This is the reason why. So one of the other cards that they just added was a 94 overall Alex Gordon. It is the same card as it was last year, but there's one thing. I got him from the ticket store. And when I got him from the ticket store, he was on there for a limited amount of time. I don't know what happened, but if I look now, it is vanished. Um, but he's the same card as last year. Great fielding, arm strength's amazing. Great defender in the outfield, great hitting stats. I might use him for a pitch hitter off the bench and a defensive replacement in the later innings, but those are that. One of the big cards that just won Diamond 90 overall, Daniel Murphy. As you see, his stats were inflated. He's a decent, no, he's a great hitting second baseman. He is, compared to what he was, has risen in price, but he's going for the 20s. For a second baseman, um, with his hitting stats, I think that's a steal for 22k. Um, if I were you, you have to pick him up. Um, not that many second basements out there that can hit as well as he can for an affordable price so he's one of the more budget diamond second basements out there but um yeah he's a great card and um that is uh one of the new cards that they um updated Aaron Judge is a silver and uh, Jose Ramirez is a gold and Miguel Sano is also a gold and those are the highlights for the player updates so as you see here, they got the one pack, the April Player of the Month I was telling you guys about. Contains four player items, a single guaranteed monthly award series flashback players. Uh, contains six for the Eric Team Player Epic Missions. A limited quantity of packs are available and may sell out. Limit one per person. And um, there were 10,000 to begin with. They are down to 5,130. There are, as you see, 20,000 stubs. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, you can only pull those golds, and currently one of the most popular golds pulled is the 89 Mike Leak, who is going for 3K right now. So if you look at it, no, not worth it. Um, you can only purchase one, and um, there was a little glitch that happened on my account. And um, I bought one of these before they took it off and brought it back to the market uh, ticket to the pack store and um, I tried to open it and it showed a server error the moment that happened the pack vanished it took my 20,000 stubs and um, now I try to purchase one and it says that I already purchased it did not receive a card but um, moments later I get the Mike Lee card and I believe that's the card so I don't have footage for the opening of that pack so I do apologize San Diego really messed me up on that. Uh, I wanted to show you guys me opening it, plus, but you didn't really miss out much because I pulled an 89 gold. He's going to 3K. I'll take a look at the missions with you, and I'll be right there in a sec. Here it is. This is a collect six April monthly awards flashback player items. If I collect them all, I will finish the first tier of the Eric Tanks, 94 overall. Um, I currently do not know the stats for it because nobody has acquired it yet. So there are two more tiers after you collect the six cards. They're kind of pricey. So if you have the stubs, go ahead and I'm not going to tell you not to do it. <laughs> but um, that'll end today's um, player outlook here. If you guys like to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for MLB The Show content. As you see here, that 94 Eric Teams might be a great card. And the silver is not that bad either. Hope you guys all have a great day. Baseball Kings of Advice signing off. Peace.